Now a 7 News alert. More questions and answers after part of the grand jury report into the murder of JonBenet Ramsey are made public. The documents confirm the grand jury indicted her parents for child abuse resulting in death. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn always investigating. Russell, you're asking how this impacts the case moving forward. Teresa, the statute of limitations on the charges John and Patsy were indicted on in 99 has run out, and the district attorney at the time never signed the indictment, so they were never prosecuted. The information released today only creating new speculation about what happened to Jean Benet. In the documents released, the grand jury found John and Patsy Ramsey had intent to hinder, delay, and prevent their daughter's killer from being prosecuted, indicting them on child abuse resulting in death and for being accessories to first-degree murder. But that's it, only four pages of the 18-page indictment released today, so we still don't know what evidence led to the grand jury's decision. What's the point? I don't see the point. I think that releasing just part of it is giving a, a, a part of the story. It's unclear now. 7 News legal analyst Chris Michio. I'm not blaming the judge. I'm not blaming the prosecutor. It just seems that it's extraordinarily problematic and it continues a very problematic case from the very beginning. A case that continues to fascinate nearly 17 years after the body of six-year-old beauty pageant queen John Benet was found in the family's Boulder home the day after Christmas. The mystery of who killed John Benet remains. John Ramsey's longtime attorney, Lynn Wood, lashing out today, he says all 18 pages should be released. John has never gotten a fair shake from the Boulder Police Department. He has never gotten a fair shake, in my view, by media accusers. And it's almost like deja vu, here we go again. The problem here is it's pointing out the problems that we're having in the criminal justice system. Four pages out of what, 18 pages? That's less than half. What else is there? If you're going to release it, release the whole thing, because we don't know what you're holding back. Michio says this information does nothing but perpetuate debate and speculation. The argument is going to continue until someone is found who did this. The Boulder police chief released a statement today saying the grand jury's findings show his investigators did their jobs and he reiterated they are disappointed that the opportunity to bring the case to trial, quote, may be lost forever. In the newsroom, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.